what's good, you too, it's your boy, J2 Cold, and today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, hey, listen, I got a very special video for y'all today, y'all know what I'm saying, y'all know what time it is, man, it's time to get lit, you know what I'm saying, today we got, let me see what it says, stupidly expensive things, Shaq owns you know what i'm saying stupidly expensive things shacks on so if you need to the video you already know what to do baby you know what i'm saying listen i know sh the shack the diesel i know he owned bro i know he owns some stupidly expensive ass things for one don't shack got a yacht i know shack done got a yacht that he's bigger than how the fuck you bigger than your yacht slum how, how, come on folks how you bigger than your your yacht? You know what I'm saying? Your you, you, you paid over what? 80 million, 100 million for, yacht, for that yacht? It's a super yacht. I know you. I know. I know something they added up. Uh, you too damn big. The diesel. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> I man built like a, you know, like one of them hefty ass Gatorade bottles. I mean, and I know his Gatorade bottles be got to be about this big. You know what I'm saying? About 10 inches. <laughs> Uh, shit, but anyways, y'all, as we do, y'all already know how I go, man. We gonna hop straight into this video. Let's hop straight into the video, bro. These are the top eight stupidly expensive things Shaq owns. Oh, Number snap. eight, Shaq spent more money on a fish tank than you did on your car. Yeah. See, nah. Boys on a fish tank? Tanked, and asked for the craziest fish tank they could think of. So, that's exactly what they gave him. Jack, come on in, pal! Peekaboo. Oh! This is an Egyptian themed 800 gallon tank featuring three exotic grouper fish. On a, on a fish tank, though? I would never. I would never. A Japanese Kadako eel and three custom Sphinx hookah statues. Fuck a fish tank, what? This, made, this man made, a, made his own personal aquarium. Bringing the total in his house room to a hundred and twenty thousand oh, dollars. Golly, you know, Shaq could lose a hundred and twenty K and not even notice. I mean, really, number seven, the dude spent more money on a single tree house than most people do on their actual house. Yeah, what in 2018. Shaq decided to hit up the TV show. Man, this is this is what happens when you got an absurd amount of money and you just need. You just want to, like, you just do whatever with it, like. Treehouse Masters. Like what? The treehouse of his dreams. One, two, three. Bro, that's the greatest treehouse of all time. Like, who the fuck lives in there? Codename Kids Next Door? Where are the kids at? Where, where, where they at? Number one, where you at, bro? Nigga, we got the diesel in this motherfucker. Oh my god. A tree house? Bro, if he gonna go up to that stair level, he gonna be as tall as that level and fall straight through the floor. Stop playing. A handcrafted metal fire pit. A custom nine foot mahogany door. An intricate tin ceiling. This thing has got it all. And on the inside, it's got a poker table, what? cardboard, full service bar, and an original painting of Dr. Diesel himself. What? Yeah. I've never seen anybody do, do this to me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's an honor. Jack, you can thank the, the guy fuck? all you want, but you had to fork over $400,000 for a damn treehouse. All right, I mean, let's be honest. $400,000 for a treehouse the size of an actual home kind of makes sense. But number six will go down in history as the dumbest thing Shaq spends money on. What is it? Back in 2014, Shaq was at a business conference in Texas when, during an interview with USA Today, Shaq dropped a bombshell. Hey, every time iPhone comes out, I buy 50. 50 iPhones? Yes, I pass what them out. What do you do out. with 50 iPhones? I pass them out, and then I just pass, like, kids, like, I'll, you know, tweet and be like, hey, this is Shaq. I left the iPhone 7 right next to my old place where I used to work out. Holy shit. If Shaq bought 50 of every iPhone since they came out, he spent $747,618. Damn. But I mean, let's be honest. Shaq probably wipes a gigantic damn. ass with 750k. All right, so why you why you zoom in on that, bro? Millions on. And what better way to start than number five? Shaq's 72-foot 
Pershing yacht. This thing is insane. It's got a kitchen, three bedrooms. Oh, a quit playing. It's even got a fruit bowl. But as cool as this yacht is, what if I told you Shaq got bullied for it? Yeah. What? Back in 2018, Shaq posted. I'll be like, who cares, huh? Got bullied for it, man? The fuck? This picture and asked his fans to help name his new yacht. But uh, this backfired. Because 2018. Hit Shaq with the roast of all roasts, saying, "Call it free throw, so you won't ever sink it." Damn, Andy, what the hell? Damn, that's crazy. Dog. But hey, no, that's at crazy. the end of the day, Shaq's the one riding around in a yacht worth 1.7 million dollars. Yeah. Oh, I thought but he spent more than that. He ain't get. Wasn't he ain't get. He ain't get a super duper yacht. He just got a little small. You know what Shaq's man? car collection. Is on another level of flex. Oh, I know it is. Making it number four on our list. And half them cars you can't even fit in. See, Facts. back in 1992, Shaq spent his first NBA check on three different Mercedes Benzes. And with that, he started a car buying addiction. Because Shaq went out and built one of the most expensive garages in NBA history. I'm talking classics like his vintage 1963 Cadillac Eldorado. Oh my god. The actual car used in the movie Scarface. That baby and cold. 1964 Chevy that baby Impala cold. That he bought from Snoop Dogg. But his addiction was just getting started. Because when it comes to Shaq's custom cars, this man went all out. Like For what? Shaq what did he get? Took an Infiniti G35, which looks like this, and used a custom Vader body kit to turn it into a completely new car. Or uh, let's look at his Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat that he added custom butterfly wing doors to. Oh my Ridiculous. god. But these are nothing compared to Shaq's collection of ultra. Bro, imagine. Imagine being able to just like buy all these things bro i know a lot of this stuff bro is just like my dog is just bored bro and some things he's just doing to make more money and it's just like damn bro damn bro you know how many you know how many fucking okay. one of my favorite things to do man you know how many fucking basketballs i could buy with that shit nigga you know how much, you know how much vc i could buy with that more <laughs> v bucks like I'm, they're, 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 their servers are gonna crash, bro. Luxury cars, because Shaq not only owns a Mercedes S550, a Porsche Panamera, a Lamborghini Gallardo, but he also owns two Ferraris. Man, look, 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 look. we manifest in all 2022. We gonna get there, bro. There's no lack in our rap. We're gonna get there, bro. We're going to. We got to. I'm telling you, bro. There ain't no lack in our rap. All these cars and shit. Man, listen. Cole family, we, we manifest this shit, bro. We do this. This is what we do. Let's fucking get this shit, three bro. Three Bentleys and three Rolls Royces. Damn. If you add up all 40 of Shaq's cars, his entire garage is worth over $5 million. Clearly, Shaq's got a problem. But believe it or not, this isn't even Shaq's most expensive addiction. Because for number three, Shaq can't stop buying multi-million dollar mega mansions. And it all started in 1992. What? what? And as a member of the Magic, Shaq got his first fix. Buying a 36,000 square foot lakefront mansion in Orlando, Florida. And uh, this place is insane. It has 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a 17 car garage, oh my and God. an NBA sized basketball court with the rebound logo right in the middle. Yeah, that's right. Even Shaq's out here subscribed to the channel. Shut so you're not. Uh, the, what the hey, he tried to doing? play that off. But hey, nah, anyways, he tried to play that off. This entire mansion is worth $16.5 million. And with that, Shaq was hooked because over the next 17 years, he went on to buy six more mega mansions. One in Vegas, two in LA, one in Phoenix, an $18.8 .8 million property in Miami. But his last one is special because Shaq went out and dropped a million dollars on his Atlanta mansion. Wait, what? A million dollars? Why the hell is this dude living here when he's got an $18 million mansion? Man, I, I don't know. But what I do know is that his entire mansion collection is worth over forty-eight million dollars? Oh, oh. oh shit! I almost died from feeling poor. But hey, 
There's a reason Shaq oh bought all God. these mansions. He needs some space to fit what he's buying in number two. Man, Dead listen. People. Yeah. What? What? See, over 300 for that and 2000 for this, way too expensive. Wait. But today I'm going to show you guys how to get all this stuff for a lot cheaper. Okay. The years, wait, 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 wait. All kinds of investments, <laughs> like Five Guys, Papa John's, uh, even Krispy Kreme. Right, but right. In 2018, Shaq was looking for a killer investment. The fuck? Something <laughs> that would bury the competition. So he hit up Authentic Brands Group a $10 billion brand management company to strike the deal of a lifetime. And Shaq ended up selling the rights to his own name for over $270 million. But it's what he bought with that money that will keep you up at night. I don't like to seem like I'm bragging, but I'm gonna ask you a question. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? What? Marilyn Monroe. Playboy? Who owns Elvis Presley? Me. The diesel. Stop playing. Oh man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The right style with pressure. Oh yeah, this is this rich rich people talk. This is like like I ain't gonna say rich rich people talk because I was I wouldn't say that. I, I feel like it's more simple than like like you he owned the rights to Elvis Presley. So meaning like him. I don't know. I don't know how you own the rights to Elvis Presley. Maybe I don't know if he owns the rights. I don't know if his music is separated from him. But I think owning the rights to Elvis means he owns the rights to like his music and stuff too. When you own, I don't know. Like you, he, that means he owns the rights to like I, like him actually. Like him, you know what I'm saying? And if you own the rights to him, you own the rights to his music. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know. It don't sound that complicated. But at the same time, it's like. Nigga, we're not buying motherfuckers. We're, niggas is buying dead people. Like, like, I don't know, bro. Talk heavy. Talk heavy. So when I was retiring, <laughs> I called the three companies that help people live forever, and they brought my band for a lot of money. So I took half that money, put it back in the company. Now I'm the number two guy in the company. Now I own all those other brands. So if Shaq goes away, shit, we still got Elvis. <laughs> This man Shaq is really out here buying dead people for $135 million. Can somebody just kill me now, please? What? This has to be the most expensive thing Shaq owns. Right. Right? Right. Well, believe right? it or not, there's one final thing Shaq owns. I bet you. That's worth more than $135 What do we million. got? I bet you he bought See, like a business or something. In 2002, Shaq decided to use some of his NBA money to begin investing in real estate. And his first move was buying 21 housing communities in Colorado for thousands of low-income families, making Shaq the largest landlord in the United States, literally. Now, this one deal was worth a whopping $100 million. But Shaq's real estate career had only just begun, because in 2019, he partnered with Beret Development to build the biggest flex you could imagine, a 22-story skyscraper with 168 luxury apartments what? called Shaq Tower. And the value of this one building comes out to $80 million. Now... <laughs> Damn! As crazy as 80 million sounds, it wasn't long after that Shaq announced he was constructing another tower in Newark, worth even more, a 33-story luxury apartment complex, complete with restaurants, a roof deck plaza. Oh, that boy going in. The house that Shaq built. Now, it turns out that this building- That boy going in. $150 million. So when you combine all three of Shaq's real estate investments, his entire portfolio is worth an incredible 330 million, easily making it the number one most stupidly expensive thing that Shaq owns. But you know what's not expensive at all? Watch what? the times Charles Barkley disrespected NBA players. It's completely free. So what are you doing? Click it. We'll probably have to react to that next time, man. Oh my God, bro. Bro, Shaq is a is a beast, bro. Stop playing with him, bro. Damn.
See, I didn't know he, I didn't know he was spending money like that. I didn't know he had money like that. Like, damn, bro. It make you think, bro. It really make you think. Shit like that really make you think, bro. Crazy. But anyways, y'all, if you made it to the end of the video, you already know what to do. Bay, be. You know what I'm saying? It's been your boy, J2 Cold, man. We going up. Ah, oh, shit. Up, <laughs> and I'm out, bro.